I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. You're going to love what I have on the menu tonight. This is a honey roasted chicken. I took a whole chicken and I cut it up because that's the most economical value that you're going to find in the grocery store meat case. And I put a little bit of a dry rub on it and then I put a little bit of a wet honey base on it, a little baste, and it's delicious. You're going to love it. Let's go see how we make this honey roasted chicken. All right, we're gonna go over all of the ingredients and then I'm just gonna start in on this. I have one whole chicken that I purchased whole and I cut up myself because it's a lot cheaper to do that. And a lot of times when you get chickens on sale, you, you there is no comparison in the cost differential between buying already butchered chicken and butchering it yourself. Cutting up a chicken is very, very simple and there are just a few joints you need to know how to separate. And with a very sharp knife, you get the job done in no time. Plus. You get the back, and if you want to save that to make stock, you can also just toss it in your freezer and uh, make stock later when you're ready. But I have one whole chicken, so I have two breasts, um, two leg quarters, which I kept whole, and two wings, which I never throw out um, because Rick enjoys eating them. I'm not a wing person, so. <clears throat> and over here what I have is my Rita Baker that I have sprayed with coconut oil spray and just put in a whole onion that I sliced very thinly. Uh, I just put that in the bottom. So prep your pan like that. Then we're going to have a dry rub. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a dry rub. What I have in here is a teaspoon each of my sedged chicken rub. So you can use any kind of chicken seasoning blend that you like. Like if you like a Mrs. Dash or something like that, use that. So a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, um, <clears throat> and a tea, uh, half a teaspoon of chipotle powder. And that's what I'm using is this chipotle powder. I bought it on Amazon. If you're interested in buying it, I will put a link in the description box below where you can find this. Then we're going to make our sauce, which is going to turn into a glaze um, as we roast the chicken. I have a half a cup of honey, a quarter of a cup of Dijon mustard, four cloves of garlic that are minced, and a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. This is going to cook down into a delicious, sweet, and tangy glaze. Um, on top of the dry rub, it's going to make the chicken perfectly seasoned. This honey roasted chicken is going to be superior. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead first and um, just build my, my glaze because I feel like we'll get this out of the way. So into the measuring cup, I'm just going to put my half cup of honey. We'll get our mustard in there. Oh, see, now I need the spatula again. Good grief. The soy sauce and the garlic. Everything goes in there. And then we can just set that aside. All right, then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna mix up our spices. Just get those blended up really well. And then we're just going to start to sprinkle just rub that in I when I cut this piece up it just that piece of skin just does not want to stay on the top make sure you get both sides and then pop it on top of your onions Just make sure you get this all coated well and then flip them over. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle the rest of this on the top. All right, now that we have all of um, the dry rub done, I'm just going to give my sauce another stir. Okay, now I'm just going to take a pastry brush and I'm just going to gently dab some of this glaze on the top here. I'm not going to pour this over the top of the chicken. We're going to baste the chicken with this glaze because I don't want the chicken to braise in this. I want it to bake on. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to roast this off for 30 minutes now. My oven is preheated at 375 degrees. 
and we're going to just pop this in the oven for half an hour at which point we will pull it out and I'll bring you back when we do that but we'll pull it out we're going to baste it again and we're going to continue cooking it for an additional 30 minutes basting every 10 minutes now we'll pop over here and I always like to put it on another baking pan just in case okay into our hot oven it goes for 30 minutes we'll be back when it's time to do our first baste okay our timer went off and it's been 30 minutes in the oven already and I just took it out and I'm gonna bathe this one more time I'm gonna slather it with this glaze and we're gonna pop it back in the oven and we're going to baste it every 10 to 15 minutes until the temp internal temperature of the chicken registers 160 on an instant rate thermometer at which point we're going to take it out but we're going to baste this like I said every 10 to 15 minutes and then when uh, you want to use a meat thermometer and if you don't have one you're going to want to pierce this you're going to want to pierce um, piece of the white meat with a knife and you're going to want to make sure there's no pink inside and then any juices that are emitting from it are running clear you don't want any pink you don't want it to look like there's any uh, blood in the juice or anything like that that will indicate that it is cooked all the way through all right so i'm going to return this to the oven now and remember it's 375 degrees i have some sweet potatoes roasting along with it and those are gonna be coming out later and I'll bring you back when it's time to take them out. All right. This is ready to come out. So after 30 minutes, we basted it. I put it back in I, for 15 minutes. I brought it out and I basted it again. I put it back in for 20 minutes and now it's done. Now we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes before we serve or actually while we get the rest of our dinner together. I have some sweet potatoes roasting in the oven and when those are finished and ready to go, this will be ready to go and then we have some green beans that are steaming and we will enjoy our supper. So I'll be back when it's time to fix you a plate. I can't wait to taste this, it looks so good. All right, there you have it. I told you I'd fix you a plate. This honey roasted chicken is outstanding. You are gonna love it. The baste came out, it, it has a perfectly delicious bark on that chicken. The skin is crispy and wonderful. The chicken is cooked all the way through and it is moist and lovely. You're going to love this. Uh, I'm pairing this with some baked sweet potato and some steamed green beans that are uh, fresh green beans that I just washed, cut up, and uh, steamed with water and then put a little butter on there. And they're just plain and simple. So that's how I made this uh, delicious honey roasted chicken. Do you want to taste it? Okay. You sure? I have to. Okay. You ready? Mm. And the sauce, it did oh. render a little bit of sauce, so you can feel free to uh, ladle a little bit over your meat, and it'll be wonderful. Mm -hmm, you could even put a little on your potato, and it mm -hmm. would probably not be bad at all. So there you have it. A delicious, quick and easy honey roasted chicken. Now this does take a little, about an hour to cook fully um, because you want it in the oven for at least at least an hour um, because you want to make sure your chicken is done. But then you're going to want it to, uh, to sit for about 10 minutes after it comes out. But you know, if you have that time during the week, I think this is a perfect meal to put on the table because everyone's going to be satisfied. It's fantastic. I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!